Hello my Linians, this is Teacher Mary Lynn and today we are going to discuss the topic in interrelationship of work, energy, and power. This video tutorial is based on your learning activity sheet in Science 8, Quarter 1, Week 3. So bring out your learning activity sheet as well as your learner's module and turn it to pages 21 to 36. Our learning targets for this session are to describe how work is related to power and energy, to identify and explain the factors that affect potential and kinetic energy. Before the lesson, let's have some warm-up questions. The first question is, a girl pushes a cart. If the direction of her force is going to the left, what is the direction of the cart? Timer starts now. What do you think is the answer? Fantastic! The card goes to the left. The next question is, A man who holds a cup of coffee moves forward. What is the direction of the force applied to the cup? Timer starts now. What do you think is the answer? Excellent! The direction of the force applied to the cup is upward. Let's talk about work. Work is the product of the force applied to a body and the displacement of the body in the direction of the applied force. We have here three important words for you to remember. Force, displacement, and direction. The force applied to a body and the displacement of the body must be on the same direction for work to be done. For example, Carabao applied force to the cart. The cart moves in the same direction with the force applied by the Carabao. Therefore, work is done. How about these examples? A girl pushes a cart. Exactly, work is done. A man carrying a cup of coffee. Brilliant, no work is done. For us to know how much work is done to a body, we will use the equation W is equal to F times D, wherein W stands for work, the unit is Joule, F stands for force, the unit is Newton, and D stands for distance, the unit is meter. However, if the force applied to a body created an angle, we are going to use the equation W is equal to F times D times cosine theta. We're going to substitute the given angle to theta. In solving this kind of word problem, we're going to use scientific calculator. Let me show you where you can locate your cosine key in your scientific calculator. For example, you push a sofa with a force of 100 newton. If you move the sofa with a distance of 2 meters, how much work do you do? In solving word problem, we need to identify the given, determine the equation, and write the solution. For this problem, the given are force of 100 newton and distance of 2 meters. Based on the question, how much work do you do, the equation will be W is equal to F times D. In writing your solution, you just need to substitute the value of given to the equation. W is equal to F times D, wherein force has a value of 100 newton and distance with a value of 2 meters. 100 newton times 2 meters is equal to 200 newton meter or 200 joules. Work is a method of transferring energy. Therefore, energy is defined as the ability to do work. Work is done on the first marble. The first marble gains energy while the person who shoots the marble loses energy. Same as, the first marble that does work on the second marble loses energy while the second marble gains energy. This shows that when work is done, energy is transferred. For this session, we are going to discuss two types of energy, the kinetic energy and potential energy. The energy of a moving object is called energy of motion or kinetic energy. In determining the kinetic energy of any object, 
we're going to use the equation Ke is equal to 1 half mv squared. Wherein Ke stands for kinetic energy, the unit is joule, m for mass, the unit is kilogram, and v for velocity, the unit is meter per second. The factors that may affect the kinetic energy of an object are mass and velocity. Do you still remember what are we going to do in solving one problem? We need to apply it again. If a 2,000 kilogram car moving at 10 meter per second, what is the kinetic energy of the car? Identify the given, determine the equation, and write the solution. For this word problem, the given are 2,000 kilograms and 10 meters per second. Based on the question, what is the kinetic energy of the car? The equation will be Ke is equal to 1 half mv squared. In writing your solution, just substitute the value of given to the equation. And for the question, what is the kinetic energy of the car? The answer will be 100,000 joules. The energy gained or lost by the object is called gravitational potential energy or simply the second type of energy which is potential energy. For us to know the potential energy of an object, we will use the equation Pe is equal to m times g times h, wherein Pe stands for potential energy, the unit is joule, m for mass, the unit is kilogram, h for height, the unit is meter, g as acceleration due to gravity with a constant value of 9.8 meter per second squared. Potential energy affects by the factors such as mass and height. Let us try to solve this word problem. A 35 kilogram child climbs 5 meter up a mango tree. What is the child's potential energy if he stops at this height to look around? Again, identify the given, determine the equation, and write the solution. For this word problem, the given are 35 kilograms. 5 meters and acceleration due to gravity with a constant value of 9.8 meter per second squared. Based on the question, what is the child's potential energy? The equation will be Pe is equal to m times g times height. In writing your solution, just substitute the value of given to the equation. For this question, what is the child's potential energy? The answer is 1,715 joules. You have learned that work is the product of force and displacement. But how would you know how fast or how slow work is done to a body? The answer is power. Power is the amount of work done in one second. Power is the rate of doing work or rate of using energy. For example, you and your friend push two boxes with the same mass for the same distance. Your work done is equal. But if your friend pushes the box faster than you, your friend is more powerful. In solving for power, we will use power is equal to work over time or power is equal to energy over time. The question is, what is the unit for work? Great, that is joule. How about the unit for energy? Awesome, it is also joule. Now, what is the unit for power? Remember, work over time or energy over time. So we will consider the unit for time, which is second. Very good! That is joule per second, but maybe you are more familiar with what? What is used to measure the power consumption of electrical devices? Now let's have some recap. What is work? Work is the product of force and displacement. For work to be done, the displacement of the object and the force applied on it must be on the same direction. What is energy? Energy is the capacity to do work. It can be kinetic energy, which is the energy in motion, or potential energy, the energy at a certain height or stored energy. What is power? Power is the rate of doing work or rate of using energy. At this point, turn your activity sheet to enrichment part. Reminder, do not write anything on this activity sheet. Write your answer on a separate long band paper. For enrichment activity number one, you need to identify the terms being described 
or complete the statements to fill the crossword puzzle. You may copy the crossword puzzle or just simply write 1 to 10, then write your answer. For enrichment activity number 2, you need to determine whether the given description is as to kinetic energy or potential energy. Please copy the table for you to sort the given descriptions. For enrichment activity number 3, read the word problem carefully and solve for the unknown quantity. Just identify the given, determine the equation, and write your solution. And for your wrap-up activity, just provide brief explanation to answer the following questions. I hope you learned something today. If you have questions or clarifications regarding the topic we discussed, feel free to contact your subject teacher through text or call or you may also post questions in your official Facebook group or page. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.